Ladies and gentlemen, we've waited so long for this moment, but DLC 3 has been revealed. We've got our first actual in-game screenshot of it and the name of the map, Mauer de Toten. In this video, we're going to break everything down, show you everything we know, including the screenshot details and everything that Season 4 is going to have for Cold War Zombies. So definitely stay tuned if you're excited. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below as you jump into this. Be sure to like this video as well and let's dive straight into the roadmap. We've got the entire roadmap here, ladies and gentlemen, but let's go to zombies because that's what we want to know about first and foremost. So here we go, the first bits and pieces, which is about Outbreak, where we've got a new region, main quest and intel. So we've got Zoo, it's feeding time in Outbreak at the launch of Season 4. Prepare for your squad to get a little wild with this new Outbreak region deep within the Ural Mountains. Don't feed the zombies, you complete objectives, uncover new story intel and even find some world events. Who knows, maybe even the Order exhibit will arrive when you warp into the zoo in later rounds. Now, this is what I'm really excited for because we just got a teaser as well for the next Easter egg quest that is launching. So here we go. The Dark Eve story expand at the start of the season with Operation Excision, the newest zombies main quest that will serve as the narrative prologue to the next round based map coming mid season. After witnessing the community take down the Legion and Fort Operatia in Verzia, we've no doubt Requiem's finest will be able to conquer this new challenge and reveal what's to come later this season. So here's the new zombies map. Oh, shoot. I did not expect us to actually see it. The new zombies map is called Mawa de Toten. Treyarch's new zombies experience arriving mid-season. And we get our first look. It literally is the streets of Berlin, as we predicted. But it looks... It looks so good. Here we go. So, Mauer de Toten is official. Fans of D-Machine, Firebase, another classic round-based zombies experience will be welcomed home in Mauer de Toten, the next chapter in the Black Ops Cold War zombies coming mid-season. Taking place after the events of Operation Excision and Outbreak, the Dark Aether story will continue in Treyarch's next zombies map where players will take on new terrors in war-torn East Berlin after a devastating zombie invasion has overtaken the city. The zombies team is chomping at the bit to share more about this new experience soon but for now expect Mauer de Toten to offer plenty of new twists turns and terrifying undead threats for players to conquer man I'm so excited I can't believe we actually have our first screenshot and as you can see what looks to be I don't know it almost looks like dark ether crystals near that bridge section you can see lots of really nice purple fluorescent lights I can't tell if that itself is actual like you know parts of the dark ether or a portal or something that's casting that shadow we can see the mystery box light behind that building which means we could probably go through the underside there, you can see that little sort of uh, tunnel. We can go through there and then behind the buildings, maybe even inside them. Who knows? But the mystery box light is there to confirm we can play. But this setting right here is exactly where Samantha walks across in the cinematic. Um, so it confirms that this road bit is completely open and completely goes with what we said. We saw the teaser with the train. So that proves we've got the underground section with the train potentially as a way to get around the map as transport or a hazard. But confirmed, we will be playing above ground as well on the streets of Berlin. This looks fantastic. Now, we couldn't move on without at least looking up what Mauer de Toten translates to. And it translates to Wall of the Dead. Now, we obviously know that the Berlin Wall is very close to this location in the campaign. We know it's relevant in terms of the current time period that this map is set in. There's been tons of rumors as well about this map having parts of Kino de Toten. We don't know for sure if that is the case. It would be awesome if they did because they had parts of Nact in D Machine, but Kino de Toten was also very close to the Berlin Wall. So there's a good chance that this map is also close to it, might have some actual importance, which is why this map is called Wall of the Dead. Something to think about, but very, very exciting. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, guys. I was not expecting this whatsoever, but let's take a look at what else we're getting for zombies in season four. There's also new Onslaught content for those of you that are interested in Onslaught. I think it's pretty cool, but again, I just wish it was on all platforms. But we've got Collaterals, a new map on launch day with new intel. And there's also an Onslaught Accelerated Limited Time mode to get your hands on a legendary LMG weapon blueprint. Looking into some of the other things on this roadmap, we've got the main event for season four, which is called Ground Fall. 
kicking off season four with a bang, you have to find and secure satellite links to score exclusive rewards for your global profile across Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. That's really interesting. So again, another similar way to the events we've had in the past where you get some special items you can get only from this event. But there's three new operators, including one from Requiem HQ. So there's a lot of talk about Weaver actually being a playable character in season four. And it looks like that's going to happen. We've got our first new character, which is Jackal, which looks fantastic. But I don't know what Treyarch have with these masked operators. It's like a theme that they just can't seem to shake off. But he looks awesome. And have Salah, who's a NATO uh, character, who will see during the season but this is what i'm most excited about our boy weaver himself in his uh outfit from that black ops one campaign mission so let's see he uh born in the ussr raised in america uh i don't know how this will make sense storyline wise if like weaver's going to be talking to us and we can literally play as him but I'm really excited that we actually were able to play as Weaver, especially with this throwback to Black Ops 1, where he literally just had his uh, uh, eye gorged out. I'm pretty sure when we go and save him, it's a really cool mission. So it's great to see that throwback there. So we've got five new weapons. We've got the MG82 at launch, a fully auto LMG. I'm really hoping that this is going to be great in zombies. I'm sure it will. We've got the C58 assault rifle. This could potentially switch up the meta a lot, not only just for Warzone, but for zombies as well. Really exciting stuff. And you can see we've got hijack there, which which looks fantastic. We've also got a nail gun, which is fantastic. It's a special and SMG right there. And you guys remember when they added the nail gun in Black Ops 3? I think it's going to be a really interesting weapon. If it's got a super high fire rate, we could see it play out really great for bosses in zombies. We've got another SMG, the OTS-9. There's a lot of weapons, five weapons. This has a phenomenal rate of fire with great stopping power, apparently, but it's going to have a low magazine. So that'd be really interesting. And we've also got a mace melee weapon which brings the total melee weapons in cold war to eight which is pretty nuts and then for multiplayer there's four maps so we've got collateral which is a brand new map which we saw from the um cinematic which looks fantastic i cannot lie to you we've got amsterdam which is going to be like a gunfight and face-off map and this is again from campaign but it's set in the daytime it looks pretty cool hijacked i'm always happy to see another black ops 2 classic return and there was a few easter eggs littered around hijacked to do with like richtofen's diary and other little zombies throwbacks so it'll be interesting to see what they have for zombies easter eggs in this map and finally rush is also returning from black ops 2 this game might as well just be a black ops 2 remaster at this point and treyarch just please remaster all the zombies maps from Black Ops 2, please. Because this really is becoming a Black Ops 2 greatest hits remaster for multiplayer. But I'm not complaining. And also, am I going crazy or the flags look like gobblegum icons? Maybe I'm just going crazy. Also, a new score streak, the hand cannon. It'd be awesome to see this somehow in zombies. But it's been rumored for a while. It's finally going to be in the game. And it's a score streak specialist weapon rather than it be just a normal weapon, which is cool. It's basically the Annihilator, but it looks cool. Oh, and then for Warzone, I'm really excited for this. So there's satellites that have crash landed in Verdansk that you're going to have to uh, investigate the rubble. Uh, let's see. Interact with them to work towards receiving permanent rewards in the ground for event at the beginning of the season. Now this next bit I'm super hyped for. The Red Doors. The Red Doors from Campaign are here in Warzone as ways to teleport around the map. Oh my god. What's behind the doors? Explore and enter them to Redacted across the Redacted. Oh my god. I'm definitely going to be looking into everything to do with these so expect a video on these as well on the channel also there's the hijacked gulag as well as new vehicles the dirt bikes the downtown tower is under new management which means you know the uh nakatomi plaza is gone unfortunately oh wait hang on no it's not gone oh it's not it's under new management so it's gonna be a little different but they seems like they're actually keeping it which is pretty cool then they've got some new game modes verdansk resurgence mini and a new mode called payload which is sounds really interesting they're also adding in a ton of new prestiges which is cool and then there's also uh the gifting system which is really cool that that's been in the mobile app for a little while but starting now you'll be able to send the battle pass battle pass bundles and store bundles to your friends in cold war of course on top of all of this this excitement we need to know about the update sizes so 
on PS5 it's 30 gig, PS4 is 15, Series X 31 gig, Xbox 17 and PC 21 gig. So this update for Cold War will be available on June 15th at 9 p.m. Pacific time. So in literally like two days time, this will be dropping. So around Tuesday night, if you live on the uh, West Coast or early Wednesday, which is going to be uh, a very early rise for me, but I'm going to be covering everything that we've seen so far. But I imagine the update will go live uh, and be available, but you won't actually be able to like access all of the season content straight away. That will activate later on. And the Easter egg, I assume, will update... Um, you know, will be available at the same time that it was for uh, the first Outbreak map. That's pretty much everything, ladies and gentlemen. So for zombies, you got that new Outbreak region zoo, the Operation Excision Outbreak quest, which we're going to be hunting live on the channel come Thursday, and the new map, Maui de Toten. Official, we are getting it during the season, probably at the season four reloaded, but it could potentially come even earlier than that. I, I, I can't believe after all this time, we finally, finally have a new round base map coming and we know the name of it already very very interesting let me know what you think of everything in the comment section below if you're excited for it drop a like rating subscribe so you don't miss out on anything season four related and uh, i'll catch you for another video very very soon